Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iPadOS is finally here. iPadOS is Apple's first try to try and make a difference between iOS and iOS on the iPad, which now is called iPadOS. So it has a ton of new features, of course, some features that will make it quite a bit different from iOS. Hopefully in the future, we will see a way more bigger difference from iPad OS to iOS, making your iPad more and more useful, not just like a bigger iPhone. So what I will do in this video is show you guys 15 things that you should do first once you have installed iPad OS on your iPad. The first setting that I suggest you should change is found under display and brightness. So you go to display and brightness, scroll down here and you will find home screen layout. So on iPad OS, you will find like two different versions. So you can use bigger, which will show you way less icons on the home screen. So when you go here, you will see way less icons or what I suggest you should do is once you get your iPad on iPad OS, you can go ahead and go to more. That way you will have 30 icons in one page. As you can see right here, you will have a ton of icons. You don't need to have like a ton of pages, but you will have more apps within one page on the home screen. Now with iPad OS, now all you gotta do is just swipe here from the left to the right and it will show you your widgets and the today's view. So basically, as you can see right here, it will only place it on the home screen on the first page here and one just like remove the icons. You will have still all your icons right there. But what I suggest you do is you go ahead, click on edit and enable here, keep on home screen. That way you will have it always there. You don't need to swipe to go there or to, to basically show it or hide it. You will always have it there and you still will have all of your icons right there on the first page of the home screen. So it will just put the icons to the right side. It won't remove any of them from the first page. The next has also to do with the today's view right here. So as you can see, you will have your widgets, all, the, all of them here, and you need to scroll to show all of them. But of course you can go ahead, click on edit, and go ahead and set your pinned, your favorite widgets that you want to see right there at the top. So you can go ahead and just basically rearrange them and have your favorites one right there at the top. So let's just go ahead, enable this right here. Let's place it at the pinned, and let's do this one as well. And then when you go to your home screen, you will have your basically your favorites, the ones that you use the most right there at the top of the widgets. The next thing you need to do is learn to use slide over. This is a new feature on iPad OS. It has been here before, but now it's basically all redone and it has more and more features. So basically what you will have here is like app cards. So on slide over, you don't have one app. You can have a bunch of them and have them right there ready to use. So all you gotta do is just slide like this and you will have your slide over apps. And as you can see, you need to learn these gestures so you can quickly switch between these and you can of course use any of them right there. You can also go ahead and just move them anywhere on the screen to the left or to the right. And as you can see right here, if you swipe up from this bar right here, it will take you to this like card view from where you can go ahead and switch between them or you can go ahead and close any one of them just like you close an app on your iPhone. So as easy as that, you can use slide over card. So you can see right there, I have that one. I can go ahead and add another one just like that. And as you can see, they will be stacked right there. You can just swipe here, just like you move through the apps, you can move through the slide over cards right there as easy as that. And of course you can use them and go to the app switcher you want if you wanna close any of them, as easy as that. It's very, very useful. So you need to learn these gestures to basically use more easy the slide over cards on iPad OS. Now, of course, with iPad OS and iOS 13, Apple has brought the new download feature to Safari. What you need to do is go ahead, go to Safari on the settings app and go ahead, go to downloads and just basically choose where you want to save your downloads. Now, by default, it will save them on the iCloud drive, but if you want to save them on your iPad, you go ahead and choose it right here. So you can see it shows you the name, like the location and then the folder where it saves those downloads. Now, if you want to create a new folder, you can tap on other right there. And let's just say you want to save it on your iPad right there. You can add a new folder, create a new folder where you will save your download. So go ahead. Once you install iPad OS, make sure you set in which folder you want to save your download so you can find them easier. 
And of course, one of the biggest features of iPadOS and iOS 13 is the new dark mode. Of course, that can be enabled from the display and brightness section on the settings app. What I suggest you do is go ahead and set this on automatic so it will automatically switch so it will use sunset sunlight all that so basically sunset to sunrise it will switch between the light mode and the dark mode of course that uses the information from the weather app to go ahead and set the light mode and the dark mode or you can go ahead and set a custom schedule so light appearance starts at 7 a.m dark appearance starts at 10 p.m you can go ahead and do that as well but i suggest you do go ahead set it sunset to sunrise set it on auto and that's the best way to use the dark mode on your ipad on ipad os and if you don't want to do that you don't want it to set to automatic you want to just enable it or disable the dark mode whenever you want i suggest once you install ipad os you go to control center on the settings app go to customize control center and here you will be able to find a new toggle called dark mode you tap on that and that will add a new toggle on the control center so once you go to the control center right here will have this toggle that enables or disables the dark mode so that way you can easier and faster enable or disable the new dark mode on the new ipad os apple has introduced a new keyboard which is called the floating keyboard that will make it easier for you to type with one hand on your ipad you can enable that from the full keyboard here once you're on the full keyboard just pinch in with two fingers like this and you will go to the floating keyboard so you want to go back to the full keyboard just pinch out with two fingers so what i suggest you do here is go to the settings app go to general go to keyboard and here we'll have a button to enable slide to type so the new slide to type feature of ios 13 can also be enabled on ipad os simply by enabling it here from the settings of the keyboard you will be able to use that with the new flowing keyboard now of course like some people might not like that feature but i suggest you use it like if you use it for a day or two and you get a hand of it that will be very very useful on ipad os as well as ios 13 but specifically on the ipad you need to go ahead and go to settings go to privacy go to motion and fitness and basically just disable the switch right here now what this does is that it will track the motion and fitness all that data but i don't really think someone needs this on their ipad so go ahead and disable that now all it does is it will consume battery and of course it will also decrease the performance as it's always working in the background it's not like it's gonna like affect a ton of the performance but of course it works in the background and that always makes the ipad run a bit bit a slight bit slower and of course consume more battery on the new iMessage app on ios 13 as well as ipad os you will be able to set up like a profile for your iMessage account so go ahead tap right there those three dots and click edit name and photo once you have tapped right there you will be able to set up your name here last name first name last name and then also choose like a photo you can go ahead and choose like a picture or you can go ahead and choose your memoji and set it like a profile for your iMessage just like you do in like third party apps like whatsapp or those like chat apps that you use where you have like your name your profile picture you can do now the same with iMessage another thing i suggest you do once you have installed ipad os on your ipad is go ahead and enable the new feature called voice control this is a new feature that has been added to ios and ipad os and it allows us to control your ipad or your iphone with just your voice you can basically do everything that you can do with your hands with your voice on your device so go to settings go to accessibility go to voice control enable it right there once you have that enabled you will see that blue button right there which indicates that it's ready to use now you can turn this off simply by saying go to sleep go to sleep and as you will see right there it will turn like gray that means that it has like gone to sleep and it's not on working in the background but you can of course enable it simply by saying wake up wake up and just like that you enable voice control so let's go ahead and try something here so show names show names as you can see it will show the names of all the icons everything here so let's say something else like 
tap settings. As you can see, you say tap settings two. So we have like two different icons of the settings right there. So it lets me choose which icon to tap. So basically you can control everything you want. Like go home, go home, open control center, go home. Just like that, you can control everything on your iPad using your voice. Another setting I suggest you should change once you have installed iPadOS on your device is found under the settings of Safari. So go to settings and go right here to Safari. And what you need to do here is just scroll down and you will see here close tabs. Now, of course, you will use your Safari to browse a lot and you will have all those tabs open. And sometimes you're just like lazy to close all of them and you leave them there open in the background with this new feature of iOS 13 and iPad OS, you can go ahead and choose it to close automatically. So go ahead, set it to close after one day. So all the old tabs that you have open in the background will automatically be closed and you don't have to worry about them. And last but not least, I suggest you go ahead and change another setting that is found under the notes settings. So go ahead, go to settings, go to notes and go to new notes start with. Now by default, this will be title. And of course you take a ton of notes on your iPad and this will be very, very annoying if you leave it like this. So you can see right here, if I go to start a new note, you can see right there, it will start with a bold text because that's a title. So what you want to do here is go ahead and tap right there on body and that will be way better. So you can see the new note will start here. Let me start a new note. We'll start with the body text right there. That's way, way better. And of course it will save you a ton of work. So that is it for this video, guys. This is the new iPad OS. And these are some of the things that I suggest you should do once you have installed iPad OS on your iPad. Of course, these are things that will make your experience on iPad OS way, way better and make your life much easier. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe for more iPad OS videos really soon. I will be releasing a ton of new videos on the new features and tricks of iPad OS. So make sure you subscribe to not miss any of those videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.